Right now, here's a live look at a NASA's feed here. The partial eclipse has started over the South Pacific. Now, we are counting down to the moment of totality, right? Expected at about 140 to 144 hour time here in North Texas. The path of totality crosses across 13 states here in the U.S., stretching from the border with Mexico across Texas and then the Northeast to Maine. If you can, take a closer look at Texas here. Dallas is the largest metro area in the country in the path of totality. Austin and the Texas Hill Country also in that path. Now, the Pro Museum of Nature and Science is hosting its great North American eclipse event right now. And WFAA Sean Gigi, meteorologist by Ann Reese, are there. Sean, what's going on there? I can hear the music playing. Hi. You can hear the music, hey guys. Mar Sean, Mario. Sean, this way, this way. The what? camera's this way. Take your glasses oh. off. There you go. Did, did you know you can't see through these things? That is correct. Did you know that? Yeah. So wow. if you have solar eclipse glasses, you should only be able to see what? You should only be able to see the sun, and hopefully you guys knew that by now. Yeah. So it is not safe to look at the eclipse without these. You have to make sure you have a pair of legitimate solar eclipse glasses. Right, and they have, you can tell that they are legit because they have a number on the inside. It's an ISO number, and that's how you know that they're legit. Gotcha. And I know the one thing that amazes me is that there you should be looking at the clips most of the time with this but during those three to four minutes of totality you can take the glasses off and view it but you have to make sure you get these back on before totality ends or else you're going to damage your eyeballs so be careful if you do do that but there is a moment where you can look at it with your naked eye but only a small window only during totality and totality is going to vary across all of north texas here in downtown dallas it's three minutes and 51 seconds in areas of tarrant county it can be as little as two minutes so it's super important that you're very cautious during totality if you do take off those solar eclipse glasses. But we're out here having fun at the Perot, Sean. Yeah, and I know it doesn't look like it's behind us right now because the gates are over that way. There's food trucks and stuff over there. But there are already, I'd say probably at least a couple thousand people here already. There are expected to be 7,000 here. This event is sold out because, and I've already talked to people from San Francisco, from Washington, D.C., Wichita, Kansas. People are coming from all over the country to Dallas, not just with the Eclipse, but Dallas has a lot to offer. But, I mean, that's how big this event is. People are coming from all over the place. All over the world. And it has to do with just the length of time that we happen to be in totality. It's one of the longest along this path. I mean, there are some parts in Texas that get close to four minutes and 24, 26 seconds of darkness. So just really impressive. That's uh, close to two minutes longer than the last eclipse in 2017. And, and I know, Mario, I'm going to ask you a question. And I know you probably feel like a meteorolog meteorological genie right now because everybody just keeps asking you this question and wishing, like, Marielle, can you make the clouds go away? Is Are the clouds going to go away? I know I know the sun has peaked out a couple times. It like. Has, yeah. Are our chances looking all right? I know, I know we'll have more about that, but. Yeah, you know, and Greg was talking about that. So we'll likely see those high clouds, uh, but I am seeing a little bit of break in the cloud cover. I know it's hard to tell from the station, uh, but it all has to do with our temperature climbing. Temperature climbing generally helps to break up some of that low cloud cover. So I'm, I'm really thinking that that'll continue to happen over the next couple of hours. I'm still optimistic, especially for areas north of Interstate 20. And I'm getting optimistic because we have, like I said, we have seen the, the sun peek through a few times already. Those clouds are kind of making a break. Yeah. You know what else is cool to me is, is that I don't know how much we'll be able to see with the naked eye. We have to cross our fingers, but this is, I know the sun goes through periods of like less activity and it's more active. The sun is very active right now. Right. And when it's in totality, we might be able to see some of that action coming off, some of the movement of the sun. I'm, I'm yeah. excited if we can see it to see that. Right, we have to see the low cloud cover break apart, but I think even with the high thin cloud cover, we should be able to see at least the sun's corona, so that'll be really cool. And if you can't get out and watch the eclipse, we have special coverage on WFAA Plus from noon until two this afternoon along me and Cynthia uh, here at WFA. You'll be out here in the I'll crowd I'll be roaming too. around with the people. Yes, yes, so super excited to see that. Uh, yeah. And that'll be in one hour, less than an hour now. Yeah, and if, if you don't watch our special on WFA Plus, you're not gonna be able to watch it again 
for almost 300 years. Yeah, that's because next time. a total solar eclipse is not going to come over North Texas until 2317. So this is your time to watch us and then get out, put the glasses on and watch the eclipse. Your chances now. <laughs> we'll yeah. send it back in time to you. All right, Mariel, Sean, I am so excited about this and you are really building up the excitement as well. Now, there are eclipse watch parties just about everywhere you turn all across North Texas. We found this one, the historical photography event at Mesquite's Opal Lawrence Historical Park. They're actually calling it the Solar Eclipse Rodeo. Another big event well underway at the Cotton Bowl at Dallas's Fair Park, where we find our Chris Sadegi in the middle of it all. Chris, you've actually been out there since about, what, 3.30 this morning? Yeah, Cleo, we came to the Cotton Bowl. We got out here probably around 8 o'clock or so. We have been keeping an eye on the sun. It pokes its head out every now and then. You know, one of the most historic event venues in the path of totality is the Cotton Bowl. So why not use it to view this eclipse? I mean, it makes sense, right? And if you look right now, you will see the speakers are up on stage from NASA, NOAA, astronauts, scientists. They're all up there explaining What's going to happen? Really hyping up the crowd that showed up here already to the Cotton Bowl as they get ready to take in the history through their eclipse glasses. And a lot of the people here, as you can see, school children, DISD knows this is the perfect science field trip. And I talked to the organizer of the event. They started planning it about three years ago. And the target really was these young children. They hope to inspire them as they could continue to further our research and understanding of space. Hopefully it creates a lifelong memory that they take with them. Um, so that was my goal, was to bring that to them so that they can inspire, it can inspire them to get into the science field and consider this as a possible career. And she told me that she's visited 18 DISD schools in just the past few days to get them excited about science and STEM. Hopefully we have some future astronauts in that crowd over there, Cleo. People getting set up and ready for the big moment here. Chris, thank you so much. Another place that expects a crowd today is Ennis, about 40 miles south of Dallas. This is a live picture from their watch party. Now, we spoke to a few people who made the trip from Germany to Ennis. They told us that seeing the eclipse is well worth the time and the money that it took to get there. We'll go to Ennis for a live report in our next half hour here. A reminder, if you're watching the eclipse from home today, we hope that you join us for our special eclipse coverage, our two hour special. It starts on WFAA plus at noon and then at 1:30 this afternoon, we're going to be carrying the eclipse live right here on WFAA.